This is Groovy Bat Goat, and today I'm going to be reviewing another Lego set. This is my second one. If you saw my, um, my, uh, Lego Doc Ock Truck Heist video a while back, um, then you know this is my second. And this is, um, set, this is, um, Lego DC Superheroes, Green Lantern vs. Sinestro, and also Batman. Uh, it doesn't say that, but it's, you know, um, set 76025, 174 pieces, and it's ages 6 to 12. If, if you saw my Doc Ock truck heist, you know I don't like the 212 thing. Anyways, so, um, starting off, um, we're gonna, um, review the, like, look at the box first. You may be wondering why there's a huge smudge right here. Um, and that is simply because I was painting something uh, with acrylic paint. It's for my new uh, costume, which I'm not going to show you yet, but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet either. I want to be a surprise. And then I picked up the box, not knowing if there's some on my finger. And yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, so there's a battle picture on um, here, and it says Lego DC Superhero. And up here it says Lego DC Superheroes and some more. And then it says, um, Super Jumper, blah, 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 blah. There's a dude. Um, and on this side, it's just a picture. The tape was there, but it ripped off. Anyways. And then on the back, it shows the play features. We have the Super Jumper. Uh, the Super Jumper again. And the two things that shoot. Um, and then you can, it shows like they beat Sinestro. Okay. Moving on to the actual set, um, we'll start with minifigures actually, before we go on to the set. Let's start off with Batman. We have a lot of Batman, so I thought I'd start out with him. Uh, anyways, so here we go. This Batman's a little bit different. It's kind of hard to see. I'll put him back here. And then I will, oop. Dang it. It's so hard to do stuff in front of the camera. I don't know why. It just is. Everything always goes wrong. Especially my second time trying to record this. The first time we just started a little bit. But anyways, I'm not gonna start over right now. Um, maybe I did start over right now. Anyways. So here he is. He comes with these wings, which are a, like, I don't really know, but they're um, paper, I guess. I was expecting maybe like hard plastic, like the one we got in the Catwoman set. Or maybe, um, like a cape material. I wasn't really expecting a cape material. Um, I, I, let me know what you think about the new capes. I don't really like them. But anyways, so he's got this silver mask, which is going to be useful. I'll show you why in a little bit. It doesn't have anything to do with the set. But I am actually making um, a custom Batman based off of the Batman v Superman slash Dark Knight Returns trailer. Yeah, like the costume, not the trailer for the Dark Knight Returns, trailer for Batman v Superman, and then the Dark Knight Returns costume, the armored Batman. Anyways, then he's got this space helmet, which you can actually take off, Um. oh dang, it went wrong, and you can take that off, Oop. right there, in the corner, and then you can put on this Bruce Wayne head, the headband. I'm gonna put him up here. And then you can put the helmet on so you can have this version also. Anyways, and then on the torso, he's got like a spacesuit thing. And then he has the white pants. And then he has the jetpack thing, which is cool actually. So, you have this piece, right? And then this, and then this piece is like a, like I said earlier, like a flimsy piece of like a plastic thing and then you have this piece on the back it's like clear translucent and you put it around the neck like a um like the ninjago things or a cape and then yeah i think it's pretty cool how they did that and then you can actually um oh dang it um right back in a second okay i'm back uh sorry about that focus whoa Background fell down there. Whoa! Nope. 
Okay. Now, you can place it for this folded up piece. Which just put this piece on. Um, and then you put the this piece over it. And then you have to fold it up. Um, I prefer this piece, obviously. Um, I, I think I may like this one. I can see if someone making a custom with these pieces. I would be surprised if someone did. I might even. Anyways, that was took a while. So let me move on to the next minute figures. The next ones aren't as exciting. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so then we have Hal Jordan. We land in a sector 2814. Um... This is not my favorite Green Lantern. Green Lantern. And he certainly isn't my favorite Lantern. My favorite uh, Lantern is Lara Flea's. Anyways. My favorite Green Lantern is probably, uh, Bzzzed. Or I also do like Jon Stewart. Um, I don't like Guy Gardner that much. Kyle Rayner's cool too. Anyways, so this guy is exclusive to the set right now. Um. Oh, and the uh, Bruce Wayne head is the same as the normal Bruce Wayne head. So you have this face and this face. Anyways, so for this guy, his hair is that hair piece that I actually use for my sake rig. Um, only it's a different color. This one's darker. Um, or lighter. I kind of want to use this one because my hair color actually kind of is this color. Um, anyways, and then he has a double-sided face. He has this, like, serious face. And then I like this one more smiley face and then he has um printing of the green lantern costume on on both sides his printing on both sides that's what those sides look like and then he has um black arms and the white glove and um the legs you have the printing in the front but then it doesn't go all the way around and then what i do is they give you this extra piece of this and you can just put it on his hand, like one of the Iron Man pieces. Um, like that. And then you got a powering for him. You could do the same for Sinestro also. And then Sinestro. Um, he, here's Sinestro. He has this um, techno blade. But actually, he has a yellow lightsaber handle. So you can finally make a yellow lightsaber. From the expanded universe, so woo! I've wanted to do that for a little bit now. Anyways, it's just a techno blade from Ninjago, so I'll set that down there. And then Sinestro himself has the mustache look in this hairpiece. That's like the Joker. It comes with the Joker and stuff. And then he has this normal face, and I think he has dull face. Yeah, in this angry face. And then he has the classic comic book look. It's the yellow, not the blue. Um, and his printing doesn't go all the way around on the legs. And it, uh, this is the back of him. And he has the black arms and the yellow hands. Moving on to the next piece of the set. I just hit the camera, my bad. Which is this, um, cage. That I'm guessing Sinestro made with his, uh, ring. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. That's good, that's good. Okay. And they want you to use the super jumper with either um, Green Lantern or Batman and hit this and it comes down and then you can get the Lantern battery. This thing is a cool build. Um, it's mint. I, more like the Lantern. So what you do is you just fold this up and you put this piece down and it kind of holds. Um, and then the battery, it's pretty dang awesome. Um, Damn awesome, if some of you may want to say. Um, but I wish that these pieces, right here, were like these pieces. Because then in the comics, it's kind of like there's just that one part, but it's not like green all around. And it has this weird handle. Um, so that's that. And then we have the plane, um, which is pretty cool. You can open this cockpit, and um, you can fit... You can't fit Batman because of his jetpack thing, but you can fit Sinestro and Green Lantern in there. And then it just closes. And the cockpit design is like really simple. Um, it's just like that. Anyways, and then we have um, in the back, 
Let me zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom in. Okay. And then on the back, we have the um, adjustable wing pieces. Um, so you can just kind of go like that. And then we have stud shooters, which you guys know how they work. You push back on this thing, and then they fire out. Um, I'll do that one more time. Try to hit the camera, to be honest. Let's do it like this. Yeah, I got it. Anyways. And then, um, yes, and then these are the ammo. Um, yeah. And then you have these three other pieces, which I'm guessing are my ammo. ammo. And then you have the, wait, these pieces, which on the back is this lever. And you turn it. And then inside is this mechanism where when you turn it, it turns this way. So when you push it all the way this way, that one fires out. And then push it all the way this way, that one fires out. Okay. And um, I just hit the camera again, my bad. And um, I forgot to mention. Um, this piece is printed, and also this piece is printed. There are no stickers in the set. And there were two bags, they didn't have any numbers on them. And one instruction booklet. That's pretty much all. Um, let me just get everything in here. So you can kind of see it. And they want, kind of what they want you to do is you can take, on this piece again, you can take this out, and then you can put Sinestro in there when you beat him, and then like that, like, oh no, I'm trapped, and then, Hal has his lantern that I just broke, let me just fix that. So he's happy, and it just broke. So the planet exploded, or the moon over there. With it. I think it's the moon. Um, in case you didn't know, if uh, lanterns explode, like they blow up the whole planet, they break. So I learned that, and um, I first learned, heard, like heard about it, I guess, and. Um, Green Lantern Emerald Knights, when um, Evan Sir is trying to stop the guy, and he blows up the lantern. Anyways, and then Batman's all like, he's all like, oh, Batman. Uh, and then flies away. Anyways, so this was my review of the Lego, wah, ching, ah, free. Anyways, this is my review of the Lego Green Lantern vs. Sinestro, and thanks for watching. Like, comment, rate, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you. And that's not what I said. I forgot I changed it. May the force be with you. Bye.